I need to get on a schedule with this video posting because at this point I'm just recording whenever I have time. I'm posting, I would say, quite often. I feel like there's no structure to it and I'm a structured person. So I was thinking that I would post twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm thinking today's Tuesday, so so that is one thing. Another thing is tomorrow is the eighth of March. It's the Ladies Day, the Women's Day. I am very excited. Can you tell that I'm Eastern European? Um, it's a curly pops day. I'm very very excited about that. Day in Ukraine. Uh, we have it as a statutory holiday, bank holiday, whatever you call it. This year, I don't know about last year, I guess not, I guess the same thing. Uh, last year and this year, we don't have it as a holiday anymore because of the military, um, what's it called, like when, when the country goes into the martial law martial law that's what i'm talking about yes uh so yeah we're under the martial law which cancels uh all of the stat holidays i'm pretty sure if that's what it works that's like it, that's how it works it's just like i was just talking to my mom today this morning about it and she's like oh yeah like we don't get the holiday this year because of martial law so yeah we would get it before um, and I think it's really cool I think everybody should do that I don't understand it's so weird like to me that's a little bit backwards you know countries like Canada and the United States who are supposed to be like the pillars of women's rights and like feminism and stuff they don't have that a woman appreciation day to the point where the whole country takes a day off of work you know what i mean um, but that's just me um maybe the feminism is in the way where it's like well women are just like everybody else so why should you get a day off kind of thing and that's a feminism because we're all equal so if we don't get a man's day or a day off on a man's day why would we get a women's day off and that's feminism i guess i don't know <laughs> i'm a ukrainian girly i don't know anything about that um so yeah i congratulate the girls with the 8th of march and i hope that you will get flowers and something cute from your partner from your dad from your brother from whoever from men in your life i hope that you will get something at least something little um yes that was the second thing what was the third thing oh yes i finally got my pr permanent residency residence in Canada well I got it um, I think almost two months ago or actually even more now but I just got the actual like the plastic card in the mail which is great I can finally have it on me on my person and you know do things uh, that was a long time coming I came to Canada in like 2018 20, yeah, no 
wasn't really an intro. I don't really have an intro, I guess. I was just, I just had a few things just that I wanted to tell you. But now, I guess, to the actual video, I realized that I didn't do, I haven't done the creepy stuff videos in a while. And I, to be honest, was too lazy to do any kind of research to make a video about anything like, you know, Ukrainian, like creepy stories and stuff like that. So I just decided that I will tell you the spooky stories that happened to me personally. So the first one that I wanted to tell you was, um, it's like one of the most prominent spooky stories that happened to me that I still remember like in detail. But I used to have a tutor, a math tutor, because I'm dumb, but that's okay. <laughs> school to through to high school I had a math tutor this woman uh, the only reason why I had a tutor was for me to pass the exams because I was really bad I was really bad and um, so she had a very difficult life in terms of loss like she lost a lot of family members she lost her husband she lost uh both of her kids like honestly uh truly horrible horrible experience so one day like she lived or still lives i don't know i haven't seen her in years um she used to live in this like uh, in the private sector uh and in this little house and so the way we were sitting, like in the, in the room where we were at, um, the table that we were sitting in was right by the window. And outside on that side, she had a little like a garden. She had uh, like flower beds and little, you know, like vegetables growing there, stuff like that. Uh, and a little like a walkway right by like right by the, the house like a little cemented walkway you know so you can like go around the house kind of thing and like not ruin the the garden and so i was sitting by the window and she was sitting like beside me right and so she was explaining something to me and i was not listening obviously and i kind of like sideways kind of looking at the window you know like oh it's sunny outside like it's summer i'm feeling myself whatever not paying attention and i look down at the notebook and then in the corner of my eye i saw a figure a man's figure passing by very quickly past the window and the figure and the man was wearing a brown leather jacket and he had dark hair right and he just kind of passed very quickly and so i turned to her and i say oh like do you have somebody right now like in the house i thought we're alone because she usually, usually never has anybody there and she was like oh no not really like i don't think so everybody's out and about and i'm like oh maybe like your neighbor or somebody and she's like well we don't share like a garden or any like land with with the neighbors so they i don't see a reason why they would be there just like why are you asking and i'm like well there's i just saw some guy passing by and he was wearing a brown leather jacket and um he had short dark hair so maybe it's your neighbor or you know somebody from your family that like came early like came back early whatever and she's like oh you said you he was wearing it was a man and he was wearing a, a brown leather jacket and he has dark hair and i'm like yeah that's what i said and she's like well weirdly enough uh when my husband died in a car crash he was wearing a brown leather jacket and he had dark hair he had black hair and then she went on to you know to talk about how some people have like this um 
for some people, the door to the other world, to the other side, is like a cracked open, and sometimes these people get visions and feelings and whatever, and that sometimes she feels her husband, like, in the house, and the fact that, like, I saw somebody, like, in the corner of my eye, it's like, could be a coincidence, could be not. So that was that. I think it's reaching. I think it's pushing it. But that's just like a weird, spooky story that happened to me, you know? So, the second story. Ugh, I wanted to do like a cup to whispering, but I don't know how to set up myself <laughs> to properly do this because it
so much for sticking with me today. Have a good night, good day, good morning, good evening.